we saw that just changing the name of healthy foods can have a significant impact on children's eating habits. Are adults as gullible? Yes. For example, people actually report traditional Cajun red beans and rice tastes better than just red beans and rice, even though they were both the exact same dish. It's funny, back in uh, World War II, much of domestic meat was shipped overseas, just leaving lots of uh, organs behind— the hearts, kidneys, brains, stomachs, intestines, even the feet, ears, and heads of you know, cows, hogs, sheep, and chickens. The challenge was how are they going to convince people, encourage people to eat you know, chicken heads? Well, to accomplish this, the Department of Defense enlisted dozens of the brightest, most famous psychologists to determine how dietary change could be accomplished. Apparently, taste wasn't the problem. People would eat brains as long as you didn't tell them they were eating brains. So the solution was to invent mystery meat. Just don't tell consumers what they're eating. And the same can apply with healthier foods. As with organ meats in the 1940s, the suggestion that a food contains soy may be so powerful that some people convince themselves that they do not like the taste. For example, if you uh, give someone an energy bar that says it has soy protein in it, people rate it as grainy and tasteless compared to identical bars with no mention of the word soy. In reality, there is no soy in either of the bars. It's what you call a phantom ingredient taste test. Simply the suggested presence of soy made people believe they tasted it, and they evaluated it accordingly. In general, a large percentage of consumers taste what they want to taste. So can you use the same vegetable sneak attack tactic so successful in children? Covertly adding hidden pureed vegetables to meals works for adults too, and even for vegetables they didn't like. It was shown that the adults' dislike of the vegetables that were incorporated into the entrees did not affect the consumption of the vegetable-enhanced entrees. Who couldn't use a little vegetable enhancement? This indicates that the incorporation of pureed vegetables into entrees increased the intake of vegetables even when the added vegetable was disliked— the big babies. And of course, the more vegetables you eat, the less calories you get, so the, you get a twin benefit. Right? They were eating up to a pound of vegetables a day and 350 fewer calories. Right? More food, less calories. Keep that up, you could lose you know, 30 pounds a year without even trying.